Hi everyone, welcome back. So this week we are doing a couple of things. We are doing a recipe and we'll obviously show that to you later. And by popular demand, we are sharing what we eat every day. And by popular demand, any one person asks, but in our world that's very popular. because We're grateful for our follower who wanted to know what do we eat in a day to uh, keep our weight off because we lost a lot of weight and it was through a lot of heartache and pain that brought us to the point where we were able to even lose the weight to learn everything we need to learn and then it was just so easy to lose the weight. It just fell off once we got the right ingredients and figured out how our bodies work. So how we've, we've now kept it off, we've been on this path for five years and I think it took two to two and a half years for me to lose 200 plus pounds and uh, so I've kept it off for getting close to three years and so we're going to show you what we eat in a day. It's pretty consistent. We have, I'm also hypoglycemic and so I have to eat every three to four hours, keep my blood sugar up. So we eat four times a day, every three hours. So that's what these meals are going to show you as we go along. This is one of our breakfasts. It's just a bowl of oatmeal. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's sliced banana under there and a little pumpkin pie spice. And then we put um, almond milk on it or cashew milk, whichever we happen to have. And uh, that's one of the breakfasts we have each week. Another one of the breakfasts we do is this English muffins. They're from Food for Life. They're organic. They're a sprouted grain, flourless sprouted whole grain. And the good thing about it is that they, even though they carry a little gluten, they don't have the bad kind of gluten because of the way they're processed. It's all organic and um, very healthy. So we do this. I do the English muffins. Sandy does, does actually does the bread. And the English muffins and bread both come in different flavors. This is just a regular one I'm eating today. It's just plain, but the one that in that package is cinnamon raisin. And they're actually pretty good. We put nut butter on them. So that is a mixed nut butter that we get at Costco that is on mine. And Sandy does the same. So that's another one of our breakfasts that we do in addition to oatmeal. And I think we have one more coming too. Another breakfast we have sometimes is um, homemade muffins. This muffin just happens to be the banana avocado muffin recipe that I shared. And then we'll also have a piece of fruit with it, which is usually a banana that we'll have with our morning breakfast. And then sometimes we will have an RX bar with a piece of fruit. RX bars are have very few ingredients. From what we can tell, they're, they're pretty healthy. They have about 200 to 210 calories in them each. But for breakfast, you get that with a piece of fruit. And the fruit, let's say it's approximately 100 calories you're still within a good range for a breakfast. Moving on to lunch, this is how most of our lunches start. See those chicken strips? Those are the ones that uh, we showed you with the almond flour. Those are really, really good. So this is how it starts. And this is what it looks like when it's all finished. We have, uh, I cooked the asparagus and the chicken together, diced up the chicken, chopped up the asparagus, and added some uh, salsa into it. Have it on top of chopped up sweet potatoes and a little bit of avocado. Now we, this is basically what we eat for lunch every day. We only have a half a serving of meat each. We change up the meats. You know, sometimes we'll have ground beef, you know, we just regular chicken, whatever you know we feel like having. And I also change up the vegetables. What we do every day at three o'clock is have a smoothie. We have made different varieties of smoothies. I've shown you some of them on some of our videos. I'm gonna show you another one today. This one is so simple, just a few ingredients. It's very easy. I'm gonna whip it up really quick and show it to you. And like I said, this is what we, we have a smoothie every day at we're going to start with two tablespoons of chia seeds. And at the very end of this video of everything, I'll put all the health benefits of the, of the ingredients in this smoothie. And we're going to start with two tablespoons of chia seeds. And then we're going to use 
The recipe actually says a, a cup and a half of, of unsweetened almond milk. This is unsweetened almond milk. I only put a cup in it, and then I filled it up to a cup and a half with ice cubes, so it would make the, the smoothie just a little bit more slushy. So I'm gonna pour that in. And the recipe does not call for some protein powder, but we put protein powder in our smoothie, so I'm gonna put it in today too. It also has a cup and a half of frozen mango. I didn't have any frozen mango, so I'll have to tell you what I did. I took some of the freeze dried mango that we get from Thrive, I rehydrated it last night, and then I put it in the fridge or in the freezer and froze it. So I it's just real it, mango. It all it is is mango. So I'm sure it'll just taste mangoey and stuff. <laughs> and then the last ingredients: two frozen bananas. I'm going to blend this all up and then I'll come back and I'll, I've never made this one before so I'll give it a little taste and let you know what it tastes like and I'll be right back. Okay, one thing first. I didn't need to put the extra ice in. I could have just done the almond milk like the recipe called for because look how thick this thing <laughs> is. Oh yeah, my goodness. That, that's awesome. I'm going to just take a little taste and let you all know what it tastes like. I bet it's delicious. It is delicious. Sweet and just really a, a great healthy um, smoothie. And like I said, this is what we have, not this specifically, but we have smoothies every day at three o'clock and this is perfect. Our last meal of the day is just a little snack. We use a little nut butter and either an apple or a banana and put the nut butter on whatever fruit we're using. It gives us just a little more protein, a little more sugar at the end of the day. We do it about 6 o'clock at night. Um, we don't eat meat at night because I have reflux and um, that meat sits right in the middle of my chest all night long. So this is the way we end our day. We have our big meal at noon and then follow that with the smoothie and end it with fruit and nut butter. So we get a little protein, a little sugar and it's enough to get us through the rest of the evening. So that's our day. That's how we eat a little breakfast, lunch, smoothie, and snack at night. <laughs> we are at a different restaurant. We're at a different place. We decided to get in a warmer climate, so we drove a little bit out of our way today, but we are at Winger's Restaurant. and. I know they're not in every state, they're only in a few West Coast states, but they have this amazing sauce that we tried to replicate in one of our previous videos with brown sugar and Frank's sauce and what else, something water. like, oh water, Just okay. Green. Anyways, it's amazing, so that's what that is right there. And then we just got a little teriyaki sauce. Sandy and I are both allergic to soy. <laughs> but because we don't break out or have anaphylaxis, sometimes we still indulge, but we had them put both sauces on the side. And this is a rice bowl with mixed vegetables and grilled chicken. And it's gluten-free. It's gluten-free. And so that's what we're having for lunch. So if you're ever in a state that has a wingers, you ought to try. They have some great burgers. They always serve popcorn, which we don't ever eat, but uh, as a, the appetizer instead of chips or something like that, they bring a bowl of popcorn and, and have great really good burgers and with this winger sauce on it it is amazing or if you're trying to be healthy like this this or like us then this is a really good choice for rice rice bowl with grilled chicken and mixed veggies they also have salads so that's what we're doing today showing our beautiful mountains we have stunning views